Well, in an effort to prevent pollution from going into our San Diego beaches, the city will be ramping up their street sweeping program across several neighborhoods. And Fox 5's Clara Benitez is live for us in Claremont on when the changes will begin. Clara. Well, Kathleen, the changes will happen on Thursday, September 1st, and the city will increase street sweeping in several areas, including here in Claremont, and decrease it in order to prevent more trash from going into our oceans. Plastic bottles, cigarette butts, and oil stains are just some of the few things that will make it into our oceans. A lot of this stuff goes into our stormwater drains and reaches our bays and oceans, and it's just a high priority for us to make sure that that water is as clean as possible. In order to prevent pollution from going into our beaches, the city of San Diego will be making changes to the street sweeping program starting September 1st. And we've determined that there are some areas that require more street sweeping than other areas. Jose Isaiah with the city of San Diego says this data driven analysis shows what areas are in more need. Realize that in some areas we're really not collecting as much uh, trash and debris as we are in others. So we're making those adjustments to make sure that that there's a little equity. Increased sweeping will happen for specific streets in Claremont, Linda Vista, Miramar, Mira Mesa and University City. Decreased sweeping will happen in Balboa Park, Normal Heights, Kensington, College Area, Encanto, Logan Heights and Golden Hill. ICEA says residents need to be aware of new parking restriction signs, which will have a 30 day grace period from the day they go up. We ask uh, residents to please be aware of the signs. I know people are in a hurry, but it's important that you are reading the signs where you can and can't park because otherwise it's going to result in a citation and and we really don't want that for our residents. Now the city will be adding flyers on those vehicles that are parked in those locations where there'll be increased sweeping so that those uh, people know essentially when they have to move out their car. Now if you are caught parked in one of those sweeping days, well you can be fined up to $52. Reporting live from Claremont, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News. All right, I'm sure residents appreciate the heads up. Thank you, Clara.